Welcome and thank you for watching this training video on customizing the MTBC EHR through the System Management menu. The System Management menu of the MTBC EHR allows you to fully customize the software to meet your practice's individual needs. The System Management controls all of the major clinical and administrative tasks within the MTBC EHR. Let's take a quick overview of some of the features within System Management and do keep in mind that there will be individual videos for each of the sections that we discussed today. The system management allows you to customize such things as scheduler settings, where you can add visit reasons, customize reason colors, modify your appointment rules to set default appointment reasons, or customize provider colors. You can also edit and modify your office timings for multiple providers and multiple locations. You can use the office timing section to add breaks or customize the times for each patient appointment. For example, if one provider likes to have 20 minute appointments, you can customize it to see three patients per hour, where other providers might be working on a 15 minute time schedule and four patients per hour. The office timings option lets you customize the work schedule for each of your providers. You can also mark providers on or off call, customize holidays, and set temporary office timings that expire after a certain time period. The System Management menu also allows you to customize your full clinical documentation. Select a Charts item from the System Management menu and examine the items within the Charts section. Here you can customize your chart templates, download new templates from other providers, or customize the categories of your templates. To download templates from other providers, choose the option for Web Shared Templates. This will open up all of the templates that have been shared by other providers who use the MTBC EHR. These templates are divided into categories, and with one click, you can easily download that template into your EHR. Click the download button, and that template will be saved in your records for future use. The chart section also allows you to update such things as your immunization list, your allergy setup, your review of system and physical exam. Let's take a look quickly at how we customize review of systems through the system management menu. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the categories for your reviews of system. If you'd like to add an item to your review of system, click modify and place your cursor in the row with the asterisks. Put in a new item for review of systems and then click save. You can do this throughout the review of system categories and in fact you can even remove entire categories. Click on that category and then click the option for delete. To customize your physical exam setup in the EMR, choose the option for physical exam setup. Here you'll see your physical exam categories, and you can click modify to add or remove items from this physical exam setup. The system management also allows you to customize your medication list, the pharmacies, your chart printing order, and that is the order of items as they print out on your final note view, your chart report print settings, which allows you to customize what items appear on your final note. For example, if you'd like to show the SIG or the refills as part of each medication that you document clinically for a patient, choose the option for SIG and refills. This will update the print view of your chart notes so that it includes SIGs and refills by default. The system management also has customization options for your claims. Diagnosis Setup and Procedure Setup allow you to see all of the diagnosis codes or procedure codes in the system. The option for Charges, Diagnosis, and Procedures allows you to add items to your electronic superbill. Once you open the Charges, Diagnosis, and Procedures window, you'll see a list on the left-hand side of all of the active diagnosis codes in the EHR. The list on the right-hand side will show you the diagnosis codes by provider. Let's go ahead and choose a provider and examine the diagnosis codes on this provider's Superbill. 
If we'd like to add a diagnosis that's not currently on this list, we can find that diagnosis from the left-hand side of the screen by searching either the code or the description. If we would like to add this asthma code to our list and our super bill, we can simply move that code over to the right-hand side and it'll be updated as part of our list. The same applies for procedures. The procedure code search shows you all of the active procedures in the system. To add or remove items from the system, find your codes on the left-hand side of the screen and click the right arrow. That will add the code onto this provider's super bill, which is in the charting section and the claim section of the EHR. The system management also allows you to do such things as customize your referring physicians, your facilities, your place of service, and of course, see your draft or missing claims. The prescription section allows you to customize your list of pharmacies. Choose the option for My Pharmacies to open the Pharmacy Search window. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a list of all of the pharmacies in the country. Choose your city and state, and use the right or left arrows to add or remove pharmacies from your My Pharmacy list. Clicking on the right arrow will automatically add those pharmacies to your current list. Next, choose another city and add those pharmacies as well. The list of pharmacies that you add in the EHR will automatically appear as part of your iPhone or Android app for electronic prescribing and will also appear in the MTBC website for e-prescribing as well. You can add as many pharmacies as you'd like on your My List, but keep in mind that a shorter list makes for easier pharmacy selections. The system management for prescriptions also allows you to customize your provider prescription setup. This is a list of all of the prescriptions that you've sent in their standard forms. Here we can see all of the different ways that we've prescribed Celebrex, sometimes in a 100 milligram capsule form, but most often in a 200 milligram capsule form. To add or remove items from the list, use the new modify or delete buttons. Keep in mind that this is just your quick search functionality. You can prescribe any medication in any quantity and any form through the MTBC EHR. This is the list of the method that you've used in the past. And it also appears as part of your My List for medications. So if you do not want to see a medication recurring as part of your My List, use this delete option. But if you'd like to add items to the list, click the new or modify button to make changes. You should also know that the EMR is automatically adding all successful electronic prescriptions directly to your My List. This form just shows you those medications that have been successfully electronically prescribed. Every time you electronically prescribe a medication, it gets added if it is in a unique format to this provider prescription setup. The system management also allows you to customize any scan documents in your system. Use the document status and document type setup to modify the document names that appear in your system. The system management also allows you to customize your task manager and task categories. Use the disease management guidelines to create alerts and manage individual patient alerts. You can merge patients by using the merge patient functionality. Customize your scanner settings by choosing a default scanner and see a list of your current fax status for incoming or outgoing faxes by taking a look at the show status under the centralized fax option. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.